Hello there, and welcome to episode 206 of this series, where I play the regions of Europe one by one on GeoGuessr, doing so in a tennis match format as outlined in the rules you just saw. Meaning that whenever I am successful in playing a 5000 point round, I will punish myself for doing so by knocking two minutes off the time uh, that I have available to me totally for the game. But every time I score a 5,000 point round within f 6 minutes, I will score a game point. And if I fa fail to do so, well, the game point goes to the game. Currently, the standing is 4 apiece, 4 games apiece in uh, the first set of the current match. I am leading the game while well, I have the advantage in the dues, uh, fighting for my fifth point. And. Uh, We'll see how this goes. Today we're heading into Hungary and we're going into the Vesprem, uh, Vesprem uh, County, which sits in the west of Hungary and uh, it's a fairly well, mid-sized county for being uh, for being in Hungary. It's got about four and a half thousand square kilometers and has three hundred forty-one thousand people living in it. And the capital is well, the city that the County is named for, and that is Vesprem, which has uh, 56, almost 57,000 ish people living there. And yeah, I have not been to this part of Hungary. Um, closest I got was taking the train from Budapest to, to Zagreb. But um, yeah, so I've been on the on the wrong side of the uh, wrong side of the Balaton Lake. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get some rural stuff and some urban stuff. That's pretty evident. So let's go. Okay, no one has played it perfectly yet. That is a bit ominous. Let's see if we can break that trend. Okay, so we're in a town of some sort. And uh, let's see, should we go this or that way? Okay, so we're a good number of apartment blocks down that road. We've got garages. And which way should we go? That was not the right way. Definitely not the right way. Okay, let's head back a little bit and see if we can use any of these roads. And that might actually take us somewhere. And it did. Um, I okay. So this housing estate is called Peter Vaida, Vaida Peter. Lako Loko Telep. Okay. Vaida. Okay. And where are we? We are... <clears throat> Circus Sensation. Okay. Um, Papo Tesco Mellet. And the name of this bus stop is probably not legible, but... Whoop. Give it a go. In. Oh, it's, okay, so it's called Papo. Um, Ötö Dik Utsa. Okay. So Ötö Dik is the name of the street. Ötö Dik. That might not be the name of this particular street, but one of the streets crossing it. And we've still got the Vaida housing estate. This road is going straight. This must be in Vesprem. Not not Vesprem. Vesprem. I keep forgetting the pronunciation rules of, uh, of Hungarian. They are a bit backwards to. No, not backwards. Upside down. Okay, so this is the Gruf Utsa. Gruf Utsa, possibly even. A Turkert Varos. That should be the. That should be the uh, district of the city. Mm. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? But 
not um, and we're not up here and for some reason my phone goes off sorry about that let's stop that okay so it doesn't initially look like I was right about us being at Versprem. Not sh s Versprem. There we go. Um, hmm. Because we don't have any significant east west streets as far as I can see. Well, this isn't quite perfectly east west. It's a little northeasterly. No, we need a little more meat on the bone. Here we are at the Tisedik Utsa in the Papo. So could, could we be in a completely different town then? Could we be in Aika? Nah. Or one of these. No, it doesn't seem right. So, well, that's the airport. So, definitely not there. We could be down here, maybe. But, no, I'm not one for doing random searches, really. How about Balladon Furet? That could... No, we... I need something fir fir firmer. Okay, so the name is actually Papo. Pa Papo. And we need to find Papo. Where is Papo? There is Papo. Right, let's see if we can find this in time. Um, we're probably up here, no? Yes, we are. And we are up here somewhere. Um, now we need to figure out, there's a parking lot here. Could that help me? No, but there's a big open area there. So does that mean Oh man, does that mean that we are? Let's have a look at these guys. Um, there's a big open area, and no, I'm not going to make this. Uh, we'll probably blast. Um, okay. So we've got some long. I've got some buildings down there, and we have these two apartment blocks. Oh, well, okay, so. Mm. So we've got those that are a little to the back of the others. Let's see. Slightly confused. Um, and I don't have the time to be confused. That's a, no, wait. Okay, so currently we're here. Right, so we were... Here. A little too late, but hey, well, at least we found it. But that means that we're back to deuce. And I lose, lose two minutes of my time because of a 5,000 point round. 26 minutes on the clock. Ooh. Okay, so we just exited a bend. And I thought I saw a sign, but it was just the glare of that car. Oh man, this... But 
and I think we're on the number one. If that is to be trusted as a road number, which I don't think it is. So if it's not the number one, it might be a distance sign. I think we got something. We're coming into Vesprem. Okay, Vesprem. And we're doing so from the southeast. So we could be on the 73, we could be on this road. And that's actually fairly likely, I'd say. I'm just going to see what where we wind up when we come into town. That's a Skoda, a Skoda. And the Vida Gumi service, yes, we're coming in here. Right. So that means we are on this piece of road, most likely. <coughs> We are. And we are not quite on the bend. We should be about here ish, maybe. I don't like maybe. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six. Well, it's six to the bend. I'm not quite sure about that. And the other way, let's call it five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Yeah, let's call it fifteen and five. From to the entirely convinced about this but okay 15 and 5 so that's 20 so that's 10 and 5 should be about here oh that's within Whew. okay the advantage goes back to me dropping two minutes on the clock down to 24 Interesting. Papa Cola. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, I just wanted to read. Let's see. We're in the Fur Utsa in Papo So could that be close to Papo? Papa test chair. Papa. Papa test chair. Can I find Papa Kovac? Usually names started with the same syllables. Oh, here we are. Papa Kovac. And this is the Castle Nimit. Name it. So we are here somewhere. Let's see. We are facing southwest. So we are. This is facing the north. So we should be here, right? A little further up. Yes. And that means I get the point. So that's 5 4, and I'll be serving for the match. But I got 22 minutes on the clock. And two rounds to play. Good. Just what I wanted. Some signs telling me things. So here we can go to uh, 
Tei and Tihani and Polaton Fired. We'll just down here. We can also go to Vesprim on the seventy Vesprim on the seventy two. What the heck is the 72? Not the 71 and the 73, but not the 72. 32 kilometers away, but until it is down here, it's 39 kilometers away. Hmm. Guess they is down there. Hmm. Suggests that we are up here somewhere, or possibly over here by Aika. That would make sense, but okay, let's head over to this roundabout here. Should give us more better information. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to 71. That's a lot more helpful. And Palaton Villagos, Villagos, Palaton Villagos. Well, that should be on the lake. Hmm, there's Palaton Kenesha. And Palaton Villagos. Must be somewhere over here. Hmm, not spending too much time on this. Let's see, so here we are in Palaton Akaratia. That's here. Okay, so I was looking the wrong way. All right. That means we are hmm. We're looking west southwest. So we must be here then. Well, that could work. So is there a road going off to the side here? Yes there is. So that should be this one. Yeah. So we are. Ooh, this is so missable. We are past the signs here, so we should be there ish. The trouble is that I have nothing to guide me in any other cardinal directions. The only thing I got is this thing. And we are slightly north of it. I'm gonna go with that. Yes. Fifteen love, down to twenty minutes on the clock. Let's go. Oh. We go to the east and it says Auf Wiedersehen. Now, Vesprem, Vesprem does not border Austria in any way. So there must be a German speaking minority here somewhere. Okay, so that road leads more or less due east. It kind of seems like that is, well, I won't call it a main strip. How on earth am I going to find this one? I mean, find the spot. No, I thought, just thought I saw a road up to the side, but it was probably just that utility. Mast. 
a railroad that could be helpful actually there's a railroad station here does it come with a name no well that's a bit of a stretch of imagination calling it a railroad station but okay we're still heading pretty darn straight eastwards and now we're on to a proper road and that sign over there should tell us where we have come from okay and over there maybe 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 says 14 that's the distance sign right They say 14 both ways. It did. Then this is road number 14. Unfortunately, I don't think we can find it. Wow. That's an interesting site. Um, right, but uh, look, so now we're going north. And we have passed something that isn't legible. Maybe it's legible at this stop. Nope. That's a shame. Hmm. And I forgot to put the checkpoint on the on the intersection again. Man. Let's see. How much time do I have? Oh yeah, twenty minutes. Yeah, we're gonna. Be forfeiting this in a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. This could take a while. Go on northwest now. And because I didn't put that checkpoint down. So will not be very nice backtracking. So 17 kilometers. Okay, so we're moving up, moving away from something. Oh, so those are distance markers. Here's something. Sumeg. Sumeg is over here. And we are moving sort of northwesterly. We're probably on this road. Can we find that railroad? The railroad is here. And we came... Ke yeah, here's the long straight road. We just forfeited this round because we came to max game time, but... How on earth am I going to figure this one out? Um, <clears throat> well, let's pretty much only one way. One, two, three, four, five, six, call it six and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But we cross the river at 10. Well, we're going to use that for 13. So th I'm going to say 13 and 6. That's 19. And midway is roughly there. So that's 9 and a half. And this is 4 and 3 quarters. And midway between those, we have 7 ish. So we should be around here. Yeah, I hope. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God, I love it when the counting comes together. That was very nice, indeed. And we did a perfect round. How about that? So yeah, we forfeited it for the final round, but still, I'm quite pleased with that. It's been a while since I was well pleased with the round. This one definitely. 
well, it's not that long ago since we played Finmark, but then again, this this was well pleasing. Uh, just a shame about that first round and uh, missing out by a minute and a half on this final round, but but yeah, still that was good. So yeah, verse now verse prem. There we go. In the bag, episode 206 done. Please check in tomorrow for episode 207. Until then, bye-bye.